Okay, so this video is going to be about starting a fire in your wood burning stove. And the first thing you'll need is some sort of fire starter. I like to use used uh, paper towel, like to dry your hands. And we just, instead of throwing it in the garbage, you just throw it in uh, like a plastic bag. And uh, then you can use this as a kindling. So first you'll need that. You'll have that at the base, like that. And then another material you can use is card, uh, like sliced up cardboard. You just peel it apart. It lights up really nice. And then, so my wood isn't completely dry, but we have this for our kindling. You just shuck it off of the bigger logs and you'll set that up like in kind of like a teepee formation. Put a couple smaller pieces maybe on top of it. Like that. And then keep going on your TP. And if we get this right, we should be able to do it with just one match. All right, I think that might be good. Maybe we could try it out and see if we get some success. I like to use the bigger matches, the longer ones. You can get a better reach in there. And you're gonna wanna burn it all around the sides and the front here. I get this so it burns like evenly. It's all about getting it heated up quickly so it can catch these other logs. All right. And then you can add things to it. Add a couple little guys in here. Keep it going. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. And once it starts crackling a little bit, you'll know that the, the wood is starting to catch and you can start adding some other smaller pieces. Whatever materials you use, just make sure they're as dry as possible. This wood's a little bit wet, but it seems to be doing okay. It was chopped about a year ago. It usually takes about three years for it to be completely dry, depending on how you're drying it. And eventually your teepee's just gonna fall right over and you might have to move them move the uh, kindling around to keep it lit but we're looking good you can also use another another piece of wood to move your fire around Here, we should be burning hot. You gotta get it real hot when your logs aren't completely dry. And then just start piling it on there. Careful not to smother it too much. You try to have at least a couple good dry logs. Like this, they look like this opposed to something like this 
which is still a little needing of drying. See the difference? Because these are looking really nice. We'll generate enough heat for it to stay lit so you can burn those other uh, not as dried out logs. All right, we're looking good. All right, I'm gonna cut forward and wait for this to burn down into embers and then we'll put some bigger logs on there. Okay, so we've generated enough heat to put these bigger logs on here. And that's how you start a fire. This should keep you warm for about, you might have to restock it like every two hours depending on what kind of wood you're burning. So like a log that size, that'll burn for a good half hour, 45 minutes. But it's all the embers that'll start to happen underneath here is what you really want. The flames isn't what really necessarily what you're looking for. Those hot embers are what keeps your fire really nice. It keeps your stove really warm, I mean. Alright, well thanks for watching Homestead Weekly. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and have a good day.